so it's me again for, I guess, day one, part two. Um, so I've just finished studying for about eight hours or so. Well, at least covering eight hours worth of material on Seven Sage. And what I've gone through most of today was just um, practice for most strongly supported questions and doing those problem sets. And also going in a little bit on the introduction to logic section. Now, for my background as an economics and philosophy double major, I already knew uh, formal and informal logic, but I had taken them so long ago that I thought it would just be beneficial for me to take them again. So in studying or in reviewing, I guess, logic again, I found it to be really helpful and I found myself to avoid making mistakes that I was making before, especially when I did on my only pr uh, practice test. On my only practice test, which was a cold diagnostic before I did any type of setting, I got a 149, which I'm not too happy about. My target goal is a 165 or above. So ideally, that's what I want to get on the July ELSA. But in terms of actually how I did, I don't think I did all too bad. For most of the strongly supported questions, I got about four right on each set of five, untimed. Uh, in one set that I did time myself, I ended up finishing about 40 seconds early, and I got four out of five. And I think I need to do the blind review a bit more strictly, because even when I take my time and I go back to review, I still find myself answering way too quickly and dismissing stuff too quickly. And I think that's a severe, uh, you know, misservice I'm doing to myself if I'm not really blind reviewing the way it's meant to be. But I don't know, I find myself like so stressed for time and wanting to like push through that I'm trying to cut corners and I know that's not good, but I only have so much time before, you know, test day comes. And trying to remember all of this is very difficult, but that's no excuse. I should still do blind review uh, more strictly because I feel like that will help me in the long run. So that's something I learned. Um, for the level fours, I don't think I got any level fives. The level fours, I got half of, about half of them right, even after blind review. For those, I feel like they're really tricky with the tempting answers. Uh, I felt myself falling into a trap, I guess, to pick the more tempting answers, but I found that people who actually took the exam have a high percentage. When I say high percentage, I mean like, um, about 14% or like above shows those questions, shows the same answers that I did. And that's relatively high considering the amount that did not choose those answers. The amount of people that chose the actual correct answers, actually correct answers. I'm sorry if I'm speaking very poorly, I'm very tired after all this time studying. Um, I don't know. I feel like I could be doing better and I think blind review is the way to go, but I just don't know. All in all, with logic, I haven't really gotten anything wrong. I've only done groups one and two, so how to find the sufficient, oh, sorry, <laughs> how to find the sufficient and the necessary uh, conditions, where to place them after reading a sentence, all of the indicators that would indicate either a sufficient or necessary um, part of the statement. And I think I'm gonna either push through the rest of the quizzes just to get them out of the way, see if I'm missing something, and then goes into groups three and four, because after that is the lesson on um, good and weakening arguments or assumptions, uh, one of those, and I know those are one of the question types on logical reasoning. All in all, I guess my end goal is to push through this curriculum and retain as much information as I possibly can, and then do blind review on the actual uh, prep tests. But I feel like if I just do blind review, then it won't be as beneficial as if I start now, but I'm really like doing them still fast even with blind review. I don't know. This is just something I got to figure out because if I really want to do well, then I need to trust the method, I guess, because that method has clearly worked for a lot of people. Uh, all in all, I still don't have a catchphrase to say at the end. I mean... <laughs> I mean, one of my favorite YouTubers, his name is Nanogenix. Uh, he does Dragon Ball Z videos, but love the guy. He closes off by saying, keep on keeping on. And, you know, I feel like that's very suited for what I'm trying to do here. Like, trying to pursue even through my, like, doubts and how I'm going about taking or practicing to take this exam. 
I feel like keep on keeping on is still a very good phrase to use, but I don't want to use that. So if any of you have suggestions on what I should close off with, please let me know. Um, something to that degree would probably be helpful. But all in all, today was a very productive day. Uh, learned some valuable lessons and probably how I should improve myself uh, for, from here going forward. Um, probably won't have much time to study tomorrow because I have to get CPR certified for my job in the summer. Uh, I work as a lifeguard. That's the new information for you guys. Um, so tomorrow I can probably only get about three hours in. I'm either going to try to finish all of those quizzes um, except and leave three of the most strengthening question quizzes for when I haven't done any review on them and need to go in blindly, focused, and just really willing to do that because those take a lot out of me. And I think the later ones are just even more difficult, like level four or higher for sure. So yeah, I guess with that, I'm going to close off this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I also got three subscribers, which is a pretty big deal for me because I didn't actually expect, you know, people to subscribe. But, you know, that's a good thing. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next vlog.